Hey folks, Randy with Pete's RV TV here today. Today we're going to be looking at the 2013 Passport 3220BH. Great family floor plan, outside kitchen bunkhouse unit, lightweight. This one's a great contender at a great price and the Passport quality for a lightweight trailer is uh, by far um, the best one out there. I mean they just do a great job putting it together. It comes with that Keystone quality. We can see we got the diamond plate uh, up here, the rock guard place for two batteries up front. We've also got the 20 pound LP tanks. Um, great storage compartment. That's going to be some pass through storage for us there. We've got the jacks all the way around. The 3220 is going to come with that electric awning that we know and love. That's going to be the generation two so we can pitch that awning. Nice long awning on this guy. This particular unit here has got the second awning option on it. Um, great way to do it there. That way everybody's covered, especially from that outside kitchen. Gas and electric, hot water heater. We got our furnace there. We can see this particular model here is equipped with the aluminum wheels on it. That is an option that we uh, typically put on our campers. It's also got the spread axle, which is going to make it really nice for when we tow this guy down the road, especially behind the smaller vehicles uh, intended for towing those lightweights. Um, sewer flush, great way to keep those sensors read and clean. Love to see it on the 3220 Passport. Here's that great outside kitchen. We've got a two burner stove in here. Um, great place to do the breakfast meats, keep that smoke and grease outside. Uh, flames if you're cooking with Randy. <laughs> um, we've got hot and cold running water out here. We've also got blue hose there as a sprayer that we can hook up there and uh, wash the kids feet off You know, after they've been by the pool or what have you. We've got the outside refrigerator here. Great place to keep uh, some water and drinks for uh, people rather than having them go through the camper and just another place to store some stuff uh, as we're going down the road as well. You can see we've got a spare tire on this guy. This is a two slide unit too so it gives the kids a great bunkhouse, uh, um, just a real nice place if uh, we've got a poor weather day or what have you which always happens when I go camping. We can see that we got the large uh, grab handle too, it makes it a little easier to get up in this guy. Three steps up in here, we'll take a look inside. So the first thing we're going to see up inside the door is a great uh, master bedroom area. Uh, it's, uh, they got the long mattress in it, great place uh, to sleep in here, nice and comfortable. We've got ducted air in this room, you can see we've got uh, the wardrobe closet and plenty of storage above. And as Passport always does, they put uh, all the gadgets in one place so we're not hunting around looking to find anything in this guy. We can see we got the gas and electric hot water, the slide operations, awning, monitor panels, and the lights and stuff as well. As we go through the rest of the floor plan here, we've got our TV that will spin around into the bedroom area so we can watch some TV in bed, uh, something that I uh, is near and dear to my heart. We've got our CD, DVD player stereo here. Plenty of storage down below to keep the DVDs or whatever that you bring on your camping trips with you. We can see we can access that bed from both sides so you're not crawling over somebody to get out of bed and use the restroom in the middle of the night. Great kitchen area here. We've got the high spout faucet, the deep bowl sink, three burner stove, microwave above, plenty of storage above that. We've got our big refrigerator next to that as well, gas and electric. That is the new Atwood refrigerator so it's got a little bit more space in it than some of the other stuff we've seen in the market recently. Nice uh, pantry area here, um, great place to keep our storage stuff. This is going to be a super deep cabinet as well. We can also use this as a wardrobe. Those shelves are removable if need be. So tons and tons of storage on this, which is something you typically don't see on our lightweights. We're going to spin around here to our great horseshoe dinette. Now uh, that is uh, going to break down and make some extra sleeping if need be too and uh, this is a great place uh, for the kids to do whatever they want to do or play cards after they've gone to bed at night, what have you. We can see we've got our jackknife sleeper sofa there. All linoleum through the high traffic patterns too, so nice and easy to keep this thing clean. Real important to the bunkhouse unit, uh, let's keep it easy for us while we're using this guy and that's what Passport brings to the table. Uh, we can see we've got a bunk above here, we've also got that other jackknife sofa. This bunk does uh, pivot up as well as we can see to access that sofa. So on those poor weather days the kids do have a place to hang out, um, watch TV or just uh, do whatever, you know, kind of not out in uh, not out in the living area. They've got their own little room uh, um, to occupy themselves back here we can see we've got two bunks on the other side here and then we'll have that out that great outside kitchen below great window in the back not nice large window I've got no lights on in this place and uh, there's lots of natural light going on throughout this camper so real nice to see let's take a quick look at the bathroom here you can see we got the flip flush toilet we've got a door to the outside a lot of people ask me about the door to the outside why would they do that well let's uh, say we're sitting out by the campfire or you know we're by the pool or what have you you know rather than walk through the entire coach we can go uh, right in that door right to the bathroom do what we need to do and then we're back outside and join the join the camping season we can see we've got uh, the shower dome in here so if you're a little taller than I am you're not gonna be banging your head on the roof of this guy when you're standing in the shower uh, we got the vanity uh, here uh, plenty of storage down below and then uh, Randy in the mirror there. 
So anyway, great, uh, great 3220 floor plan, uh, passport. Love to see it. Um, come, uh, come check this out at the dealership, um, or shoot me an email. I'd love to help you out. Use my experience for 15 years in the industry to help you better shop your camper. I am a lightweight specialist, and I'd love to talk to you about the passport. Thanks for thinking Pete's RV, and uh, contact Randy at Pete'sRV.com or Randall at Pete'sRV.com via email. I look forward to talking to you. Thanks for thinking Pete's RV, and happy camping.